Hey, what's good YouTube? It's Farrell coming back at games with another video and in this one as you guys can see I'm gonna be showing you guys the best lockdown defender build in NBA 2k20 You guys can see the first name big the last name body That's what we're going for the big body lockdown defender that can do it all basically you can shoot with this build and you can play defense with this build you can play offense you can grab rebounds you can do it all so if you're trying to be an unstoppable big man slash you know lockdown defender rebounding wing whatever you want to call it then listen to me here because i know what i'm saying i right? so before we get into the video man if you guys are new hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications so you get a notification every time me and my boy mano upload on this channel because we got a lot of heat coming so you know i don't want to waste your time so do that you know hit that subscribe button like the video all that good stuff but yeah you guys can see now for the build first name last name you want to put big body because you know we're going for those big bodies so if you're trying to set those big bodies and get those big body rees you're gonna have to name your guy big body so do that now for the position you want to go with the small forward all right i'll go with the small forward because for this build that's exactly what you need and the hand it doesn't really matter but left hand will do it jersey number you know i'll go with 69 because you know what i'm saying 69 is the way to go but you guys can see for the pie chart the one we're gonna go for is the red slash green one so you guys can see right here we're gonna go for this uh lockdown defender slash you know defending slash shooting pie chart because this is the best one if you're trying to play a defense and offense if you're trying to shoot the ball and play a good you know amount of defense as well so if you're trying to be really good on both sides not just be a liability on one of the sides you're trying to be equal and balanced and just be overpowered and unstoppable and really win these games then you gotta put it on this so it's red you know half red and half have uh green you know what i'm saying and basically for this the physical profile you want to choose is you know the 82 speed one you want to choose this one because you want to have a lot of speed because this is what separates you from the rest of you know these glass cleaning lockdowns these big ass centers bro you want to separate yourself from you know these guys because you want to be fast you want to be getting these passing lane steals you want to be getting these rebounds these chase down blocks you want to keep up with your you know uh the the guy on the other other side of the team you know what i'm saying so if you want to keep up with them you gotta have this speed and you gotta have that advantage so i'll go with this pie chart i mean this physical profile you know right here so you go with 82 speed strength you got you know you get a 62 that's good enough you know don't worry about that acceleration vertical that's all good for the height you you know you're getting so i'll go with this one and basically now for the stats basically this is pretty straightforward for the finishing you know you don't want to touch that first first you want to go on defensive slash rebounding so you want to you know put everything up because we're a defensive build so we want to make sure we have all our stats up you know defensive rebound offensive rebound block all these all these stuff you want to make sure you have at max and you guys can see you get a total of 20 defensive slash rebounding badges and that's really overpowered for this build because look not only do you get 20 defensive slash rebounding badges, but you also get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 14. You get 17 shooting. So you get 20 defensive slash rebounding badges, and you also get 17 shooting badges. Do you know how overpowered that is, bro? You can basically play both sides of the court, both sides of the field, whatever you want to call it. And that's all you need if you want to take dubs, bro. So if you want to, if you're serious about these dubs, that's all you need. You need these, you know, you need to have that versatility to play both sides of the field, both sides of the court, you know. And um, the rest of the upgrades, you know, you have a remaining of uh, 98 attribute upgrades. So you want to put that on drive your driving layup, your driving dunk, and your standing dunk. And that should be it. And the rest, the, the three remaining ones, you can put on close shot because why not, bro? And you guys can see the, the total comes up to one finishing, 17 shooting, one playmaking, and 20 defensive slash rebounding badges. And that's good enough to get the job done. Because basically what you're going to be doing with this build is you're gonna be a lockdown defender you're gonna be you know you're gonna be stopping these guys down whoever whoever tries to you know uh you know sauce you up do this behind the back move speed boost by you they're not gonna be able to do that because not only do you have all these great excellent superior uh you know defensive stats you have you know a interior defense of 72 perimeter defense of 78 lateral quickness of 74 all this good stuff 
but you also get 20 defensive slash rebounding badges, which means you're gonna be a overall demigod lockdown, and on top of that, you're not no liability in terms of, you know, getting to where you gotta go. So you got all this speed, you got a speed of 82, and if you get to, you know, I don't, I don't know, 99 overall, you get the gym rap badge, whatever, you're gonna have like a speed of like, I don't know, bro, like 90, 90 something, bro. So it's, you're, you're gonna be unstoppable, you're gonna have the height, you're gonna be 6'9", you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get all this defensive slash rebounding badges. You're gonna have a 72 interior D, 78, you know, uh, perimeter defense. And when you get to 99 overall, if that's the case, if that's what you want to do, if you're trying to, you know, grind this build, then you're gonna have the best stats possible. I'm telling you, like your badges are gonna carry you. Your defensive slash rebounding, uh, you know, uh, stats are really, really good to begin with. And you know, you mix those with the badges you get and the 17 shooting badges, you can pretty much do anything you want. So you can lock down any defender you want. I mean, any, you know, dribble god, anyone who comes in your way. You can even lock down big bodies. And that's why you named this belt Big Body. Can you, cause you can basically do anything. And that's why you call it a big body. You know what I'm saying? So you, you can basically do anything with this build. You can, if you're trying to win games, this is what you want to do, bro. I'm not telling you what you do, what to do or anything, bro. But if you want to take dubs, you know, sometimes you got to listen to me, bro. Take my advice because I know what I'm doing with this 2K stuff, bro. So you get 17 shooting badges, like I said before, 20 defensive badges. And this is what you want to do. Now, in terms of the body shape, I'll go with Burley because that gives you extra, you know, body. And we want to be the big body in this situation. So you want to go with the body shape of Burley and, you know, get the extra body and the height. Of course, you want to go for that 6 9. I told you guys what's up with 6 9, bro. You want to go with 6 9. And in terms of weight, I'll go with 210 because that's the recommended, you know, weight in terms of, you know, this build. Don't ask me no questions, but this is what I'm telling you guys is the best. You get a 75 speed, you get a 60 strength, which is which is good enough. When you start off this build, you know, you get a weight, a default weight of 225, but you know, you get a 63 strength. So you may as well go down and turn that to a 60 and get the extra acceleration and that extra vertical. Cause you know, that's what we want with this build. That's why we made this build. Cause you get that versatility, you get that vertical acceleration, all that good stuff. But now listen to me, the wingspan, obviously, unless you a dummy, you want to do this and max it out. You want to max your wingspan all the way out because you want to get those passing lane steals. You guys can see your steal rating goes up, your block goes up, and you want to get those passing lane steals, those blocks, those extra blocks, you know, chase down blocks. You need to have those big body arms in order to, you know, support that big body, you know, build. So if you want to do all that good stuff, you know, play good defense, overall be getting those passing lane steals, be good at the game, you know, be locking your mans up, then I'll recommend you guys, you know, go with the full-on max wingspan, the 90.7 inches or feet. I don't really know, bro. I failed math twice. So, yeah, yeah, you want to do that. And, um, now the takeover... I would recommend you guys go with either the lock or, you know, spot up shooter, but I would go with the lockdown defender to be honest because that's your specialty and that's what you're going to be mainly good at. But if you want to go with the spot up shooter, go and feel free ahead and, you know, go ahead and do that if you like. You know, it really comes to what you want and what you, you know, see yourself doing. I'll go with the lockdown defender, you know, take over to be honest. But, you know, with that being said, now we're going to go on to the badges. And I'm going to show you guys which badges to put on for this build. Because, you know, sometimes people don't know which badges to put on. And, you know, it messes their whole build up. And they ask why this build isn't good. So it's not the build that isn't good. It's the badges and the choices you're making. So sometimes you got to listen to your boy pharaoh because pharaoh knows what he's doing with this 2k stuff like i said before so listen to me bro. uh my bad right there bro but listen though these are the badges you're gonna have you're gonna want to have so now going on to the shooting bro wait before i um, before i show you guys the badges i just want to give a shout out to my boy stumpy you know i went on his channel i checked his badges this is what he uses and this is what i feel like is the best as well so shout out stumpy bro if you guys don't know him he's the one of the best you know lockdowns out there he's one of the best in the game on youtube so you already know go check him out and basically for the shooting badges bro you want to have catch and shoot on gold all right you want to have catch and shoot on gold hot start on gold hot zone hunter on gold and then range extender and quick draw on hall of fame that's for the shooting badges you know i don't want to go too in depth i might make another video talking about the badges you want to have and why but these are the badges you want to have in terms of your shooting badges 
but you know playmaking and finishing you can slap on anything to be honest i'll go with something like contact finisher or you know something like that lob city finisher if you want to do lobsters you know whatever but and playmaking you can honestly put that on anything as well it really doesn't matter you could do a uh some like uh stopping no not stop and go you know there's not a lot of options maybe unpluckable or something like that uh even bro forget the playmaking bro defensive slash rebounding you want to start off by going hall of fame rebound chaser rim protector intimidator and pogo stick and this is if you're running the twos if you're running the threes and you're running you know you're not running the three you're running the two then you might want to switch it up so you have more of you know badges set for guards so something like hall of fame clamps you want to have that you might want to have you know you might want to take off rebound chaser or something like that just so you get a versatility so you can guard the two so if you want to guard the two pickpocket all these badges are good but for the two i mean for the if you're running twos these are the badges you want to have though you know what i'm saying so go with badges like this this is the badge setup i'll go with pogo stick intimidator rim protector and rebound chaser hall of fame interceptor gold and chase down artist on bronze so yeah that's pretty much the badges bro so if you have if you guys got any questions just make sure to let me know down in the comment section and also let me know what you guys think about this build or if you guys want me to make any other build videos or badge videos or anything like that bro me and mano just want to help you guys out but yeah guys with that being said this is the build this is the best lockdown defender slash rebounding wing whatever you want to call it build best defensive build but yeah with that being said man it's fair here and I'm out